it was really hard and we what what happened is we were having kind of one of our last casting sessions before we were like okay we need to pull the trigger you know um, it's a real acting challenge uh, I didn't even realize how much of a challenge it would be um, but I think I similarly to what Janae is saying like I had a, a real sort of like instinct about it right away I felt like I knew where it would live for me um, pretty quickly I actually didn't get the script until the day before my audition wow. so it was like oh I read it and then <laughs> and then I remember like sitting and I got to my audition really early mm -hmm. and um and like I got there and you guys were like way, you know, it was way far away. So I put my name down on the list and I went to this health food store and got like a, a rice dream bar. <laughs> and I just like sat around like saying lines to myself as I walked around the street and like ate my ice cream bar, <laughs> my fake ice cream bar. <laughs> um, so that, that it was like, I was like, I was in a good, sometimes you're like in a good mood for, I was in a really good mood for that audition because I just had an ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I was like really relaxed. I had gotten there really early, you know, most of the time, like, in L.A., you're running from audition to audition. Anyways, and then Janae and I sat down together, and that and that was really, like, enlightening for me, too, because in the audition room, I could tell that Janae um, really knew how to talk to actors, but I didn't know that she herself had had an acting background, and I, I did, you know, learned a lot about her as a person and as a mother and where the script came from for her, and... Um, you know, as I talked to her, I felt more and more connected to the material. And, um, you know, there's, as I'm sure we'll talk about, there's a kind of like um, unique tone to the film. It's mm -hmm. almost like a fairy tale. There's a lot of tragedy in it and a lot of humor. And, on you know, because Janae was a first-time filmmaker, I was, I didn't know yet how she was going to tackle that kind of tone. And it was such a big, it's such a big project, you know, to work with d doubling and oh, having crazy. to, it's so, so crazy. But, but after sitting down with Janae, I felt like, oh, she's got this. It was a process over the few years of, you know, kind of gelling, but um, I had written this really bad screenplay like the first act of it and I was like I have to throw this in the trash <laughs> and then but in that screenplay um there was like this 14 year old girl who, who she was a twin and her twin had died the year before and I had a professor at the time who was like you know even if you've written something really horrible maybe you could grab on to like the thing in it that is like the most mm -hmm. compelling to you and then build a story around that and at the time I was like oh well that's the most compelling thing to me in this 
crappy right. screenplay. So I gr grabbed onto that. I'm like, okay, well, how am I going to make this work? And if I'm going to make this work, it needs to have, it needs to be a comedy because that's sort of my sense of humor. Um, I have a dark sense of humor and I really felt like it was such a heavy subject matter that I really wanted to um, create like a, a tone that um, wasn't, you know, that wasn't too heavy handed. Yeah. It was brilliant. What I loved about it right away, I got pulled in immediately. I mean, I just was wanted to shake Audrey and then Laurel and I'm like, are you guys kidding? Like, but you did such a brilliant job and I could see the subtlety with the two girls. I mean, I could tell, I don't know how you pulled it off, but it was just, I went home just thinking about the story in my head all the time. So for you as an actress, what did you come away with? I guess my last question, the final one we have, what did you come away with? doing this film, what did you get out of it on a personal note? Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, I would say that I think that a lot of that, like, juxtaposition, the, the clarity of those two characters was already on the page, and, and it was really about just finding where it lived for me, those two, those three people, really, you know, Laurel and Audrey, and, and Laurel pretending to be Audrey, um, you know, I think it in some ways allowed me to, this is going to sound so silly, but when you're playing like the romantic lead in a movie, so often people are really thinking so much about the way you look and the kind of objectifying you in this way and that you have this like feeling like you have to be perfect. And that's also sort of what what Laurel feels like that she she's not lovable the way she is that she has to be perfect like her sister um, and it was really refreshing to me to get to play you know in this world that is sort of a romantic comedy world but not feel like I was being looked at like that that all of my sort of like all the parts of me that were like so nerdy at age 14 and you know had braces and felt unlovable and you know, that I could sort of bring those parts to the foreground, shed light on them, and, like, um, call them beautiful instead of having to, like, hide them, which is also sort of what the characters are, are going through, um, I feel like. Well, for me, uh, I, the, the project is extremely personal, and I feel like in some ways my journey through my 20s and coming of age is very parallel to what Laurel goes through, and I feel like for me what I took away is, like, um, you know, I, I, it's sort of, it's a coming of age story about someone learning to listen to their own voice and honoring themselves and in a way that they weren't able to before. And I feel like that's sort of the message that I hope that audiences kind of take away from, from the film. I mean, there's many other things that right. it, the film touches on as well, but, but in general, I mean, f you know, for, for young men and women and, you know, of, and men and women of all ages, like I hope that that's something that they that sort of hits home for them. Right.